What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about some more info we received from a recent interview from the Ripple Effects Director Designer, which is the team that is kind of heading up the whole concept and idea and handling of the Battlefield 2042 Portal Mode. We do know that DICE and EA said this is the biggest team they've ever had making a Battlefield game. And it seems like Ripple Effects is the studio that is handling, like I said, just that Battlefield Portal side. In this uh, kind of interview, he talked about how they wanted to make it ease of use kind of thing so anybody could just hop in and build. Uh, another thing they talked about was some things that were kind of interesting to me that is going to be web-based and even allow non-Battlefield 2042 owners to create their own playlist while being something that is very user-friendly as well. Now, I'm not sure if DICE and EA is looking to make the Battlefield Portal Mode a free-to-play thing for everyone by saying it's web-based and allowing non-Battlefield 2042 owners to create their own playlist. Sounds like at least on the PC side that it may be free-to-play. And of course, I play on PlayStation. A lot of you out there that watch the videos play on PlayStation and Xbox. I think it would be a great idea considering everyone else has Battle Royales and you know they put those kind of out free-to-play along with maybe their multiplayer. So let's take Warzone and Call of Duty, for example. Um, I think uh, EA would be, it would be a really smart move, in my opinion, to put out the portal mode free for everyone as well. So they did not go with the battle royale, the, the norm, the, you know, what everybody kind of expects nowadays. They went with this portal mode instead. And I think if they allow this to be free to play for everyone, that would be a even bigger game changer than before. When I was thinking, you know, this is going to be very popular anyway, but if it was free, it's going to be even more popular. Oh, he, he kind of went on to talk about what engine they decided to use. And he said they started to use a script-based style engine that was very powerful, but he was afraid that was going to scare a lot of people off, that it was going to be too difficult to use. So he said their goal was kind of to make it kind of to make it a ease of use thing. And he said he kind of compares it to building blocks. He said it's easy to use and kind of just snap blocks together and you can kind of tell which block you want to go where. And he said from there, it's just trial and error. You're trying new things, learning new things, uh, encouraging players pretty much just to have fun with the idea of a ease of use kind of portal that allows you to throw all these different weapons, vehicles, you know, character models, different battlefield games, even kind of together and just use building blocks to make your own playlist, your own modes, that kind of stuff. Um, and I think that it was probably a smart move to go with a ease of use style system. I know a lot of people out there may want a more advanced style engine, you know, with insane graphics and, you know, uh, more difficult, ways to or you know more advanced ways maybe to you know make things work within the portal mode but i think an ease of use way as long as it has a lot of options and players still can create all kind of things will probably be more of a, a popular thing among most of the players in the community at least anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts would you like to have seen you know a, a more difficult style engine or do you like the idea of a ease of use style engine also, leave me a comment with your thoughts about the, maybe in the future, Battlefield Portal being free to everyone. Would you like that kind of concept as well? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates is where I link a lot of stuff that I've reviewed here on the channel and stuff that I use day in and day out while gaming, recording, all that kind of stuff. Some things you guys might want to be looking into yourself. I just like all the stuff I use down in the descriptions. You guys can kind of look over it and see if it's any of the items that you might like to use as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.